My name is Sarah Jerome. I'm superintendent of the Arlington Heights School District 25 in Arlington Heights, Illinois. I am a member of the cadre of a comprehensive school health program that is sponsored by the American Association of School Administrators and funded by the CDC. You're going to see in this video the many facets and faces of school health. Every single person in the district is involved in school health and making the environment for students one where it's safe and healthy and an environment where they can learn at their optimum achievement level. I hope you will enjoy the video. I'll be back to talk to you soon. Thank you. My name is Jake Chung and I am the principal of South Middle School. We know that SEL can be often affiliated with learning life skills. At the middle school, this translates to having students learn to work effectively, managing their feelings, demonstrating empathy, and learning how to build and maintain positive relationships, along with a myriad of other things. We've created an advisory program called Home Base that meets each morning for about 20 minutes. Since we have a large school of about 900 students, our goal was to create a small school setting at the beginning of the day. The average class size of our home bases are about 15 students and it has allowed our students to make a positive connection with at least one staff member on a daily basis. That staff member works as a student advocate and is there to support the student and create an encouraging environment. A home-based curriculum was developed by our staff and each week our staff will go through a question of the week that is the same for our entire school. This central question drives our SEL activities for the week. We know that teaching about SEL in schools looks to assist students in understanding themselves, develop well-being among students, gives them a voice, and allows them to feel more comfortable as they navigate through middle school. We have full-time nursing coverage in every building to ensure the health and safety of our students and staff. On a daily basis, we provide care for situations as minor as scrapes and sore throats to more serious health conditions like diabetes, anaphylactic reactions, concussions, and seizure disorders. Our training as a nurse allows us to determine what level of care is necessary and how to intervene appropriately, whether it be emergency action, immediate care, or just a phone call to discuss the situation with parents. Students can have social and emotional issues that present as physical complaints. As nurses, we can assess if a child is truly ill and needs to go home, or if we need to seek the help of the social workers to help the student work through their problems and stay in school. We are in constant communication with our parents and staff. Kids can't learn if they don't feel well. Our goal is to encourage healthy habits at home and at school that help keep our students in the classroom as much as possible. In addition to giving routine care, we maintain all state mandated health forms, including physicals, immunizations, dental exams, and eye exams to ensure our students are in compliance. Annual vision and hearing screenings are administered by our nurses to ensure our students have the best opportunity to learn. The certified school nurse also develops and implements individual health care plans and medical 504 plans. The mission of the Health Services Department is to work in conjunction with school staff and families to promote optimal health and safety, thereby facilitating the educational process for all students. I'm Brian Kay, principal of Thomas Middle School. One of the ways we promote a healthy school is by teaching our staff about the specific needs of students. Specifically, Katerina Lazier, who is a diabetic student, has specific needs that require her to test her blood sugar on a regular basis. In order to make sure she does not miss any class time, we allow her to test her blood sugar in the classroom. All of the teachers who have Katerina in their classroom understand that she is growing in her independence with regards to managing her diabetes. Katerina and the teachers want to ensure that she maximizes her learning and minimizes the amount of time she is out of the classroom. We allow her to text her mother and nurse from the classroom to inform them of her levels. This ensures that she stays in the classroom and continues learning in addition to supporting her to become more independent in managing her blood sugar levels. This partnership with the parents has been a successful experience for Katerina and the school staff. Hello, I'm Chris Fano, Director of Technology and Assessment. Some of the ways that we try to help support the whole student and their health is by providing access and means for them to express themselves. And through technology, students have the ability to both compose and share information and thoughts with both their peers, their parents, and other people across the world. 
In addition, we also try to provide ways for them to collaborate and communicate with one another so that they feel connected and a part of something that's either associated with their classroom or bigger and connected to the rest of the world. I'm the Assistant Superintendent for Student Learning. One of my responsibilities is to figure out how all aspects of the curriculum relate to healthy students, healthy choices, and healthy schools. As school district staff members, it is our responsibility to figure out what kids need to know, what they need to understand, what they need to do, and equally as important, what they need to become. In this 21st century, our students have more choices than we have ever had as a nation or as a world. It is critical that we help kids become critical consumers of information. We want them to be critical thinkers. We want them to be reflective. We want them to set reasonable goals. And we want them to be able to communicate about their choices. Every content area, from language arts to social science to physical education to world languages, helps build that knowledge base for students. So when they have to make choices, they are able to make educational choices based upon sound understanding of what the issues are to help all students gain healthy lifestyles and contribute it in a positive way to our society. I'm Dwayne Main, the Director of Teaching and Learning, and I am responsible for providing oversight over the general education curriculum. In terms of teaching healthy lifestyles, our health and PE teachers are responsible for ensuring that instructional activities are aligned to the Illinois Learning Standards for Physical Education and Health. Extensive research connects the ability to learn to good health. The standards highlight what students need to know and be able to do as they transition from high school to college and beyond. Health and PE teachers in our district are required to develop innovative and creative lessons that are aligned to the standards. A major goal is for our students to use the strategies that they have learned to make good diet and health decisions throughout life. My name is Donna Bingman. I'm an associate principal here at Thomas Middle School. I have two main roles in creating a healthy school environment. My first job is to support the great things that are already in place. We have a blue ribbon health curriculum, a new social emotional program, a PE curriculum that has a focus on fitness, staff access to our fitness room, and a school safety plan. Beyond that, I also need to make sure that we are frequently reviewing what we already have in place and looking for ways to make improvements. For example, last year we completed the Healthy School Report Card in order to evaluate what we already have in place and look for areas that we can improve. Whether it's making changes to meet new laws or keep up with the new research, to keep a school healthy requires constant review. One of the favorite activities for the children in the district is the Heart Adventure Challenge course. The gym is set up as the body and the kids are on scooters moving through the body as they do act different activities and different obstacles. So in reality they are the blood moving through the body. On one side of the course they are carrying oxygen to different parts of the bodies and then on the other side they are carbon dioxide getting it out of the body so that they can see how their body works. Sometimes we'll also clog up some arteries with some different fleece balls and different things and let the kids know that this is what can happen if you're not eating healthy and you're eating too much bad food as you put it into your body. Another thing that we try to do is start with the basics at uh, the kindergarten level and do a lot of locomotive movements, skipping, galloping, and running. And then we build on that as they go through to fifth grade. Throughout the district, after school programs are available, at the middle schools they have uh, after school sports that are available, basketball, volleyball, cross country, 
track and field. We work with the PTA to promote the healthy lifestyles by having jump roping fundraisers that the kids participate in. We also do uh, three or four uh, walk to school days where we work with PTA and the school. We'll meet at different uh, corners throughout the community and all the students will walk to school. Uh, their parents are involved in this, younger siblings, so it's a lot of fun. One of the other groups that we work with in the district is the food service program to help promote the healthy choices that they're offering the students at the school. When the kids are in first grade and it's their first time eating lunch, we'll bring them into the cafeteria area and walk through the food bar with them and let them know what are good choices for them to eat. We're very fortunate in the district that the food service does an excellent job. They're also very active in Place 60 um, with the NFL. I'm Coletta heinz the Director of Food Service. We're part of the National School Lunch Program and School Breakfast Program. We started in with our website. District 25 provides tools for families to use uh, with their children for both home and school. We list all of our items that we sell in the operation. We have all of the ingredients and nutritional information. So parents can look up those different items that they feel that their child should be choosing with their lunch menu. Additionally on our website, we have links to the Let's Move campaign and also additional nutrition education information and activities for students, teachers, and parents. The Food Service Department has been instrumental in writing successful grants to have fitness centers uh, incorporated into our buildings and also to provide after-school exercise programs for students. In my district, the cafeteria encourages and serves healthy foods. At snack time, we are also encouraged by the teachers to bring healthy snacks. At PE, we are always active and in fifth grade you run the mile. At recess, you can play sports on the blacktop, like basketball and wall ball, play soccer or run around in the field, or play on the playground. Those are the ways my district encourages a happy and healthy lifestyle. Promoting a school environment that motivates children to make healthy choices takes many dedicated staff members and families working together and serving as healthy role models. The PE teacher, social worker, school nurse, food services director, occupational and physical therapist, school resource officer, and PTA play major roles in maintaining a pervasive focus on making healthy choices. Dryden offers a variety of special activities throughout the year that emphasize both physical and social emotional health. A jump rope a basketball shootout, volleyball night, field day, roller skating party, walk to school day, and dance party Fridays during recess are just some of our special events that encourage physical activity. School wide campaigns such as Red Ribbon Week, Bully Prevention, You Matter, Filling Your Bucket, and Character Counts give us opportunities to keep the importance of social emotional wellness in the spotlight as well. The key to making these activities so impactful is that they are designed in a way so that all students actively participate in a joyful, inclusive setting with their peers, teachers, and family members enthusiastically participating right along with them. At my school, we talk about ways to prevent bullying and make kids enjoy themselves more. PTA also has different fundraisers like the Just Jump It where kids from all different ages come and jump rope and could later win different prizes like an open gym. My school and PTA also encourages us to walk to school a couple days of the year instead of driving a car or riding a bus. My school also buys us different equipment to use and play with at recess. So that is how my school encourages us to live a healthy lifestyle. Parents don't realize that they are an important component to a health program. There are many role models and parents are one of them. We can reinforce our lessons our children learn at school, bring it into our homes, and make it part of our family lifestyle. For example, we can try new foods or make healthier versions of our favorites. Also, we can initiate discussions with our children and some of the lessons that they've learned at school and provide examples that's applicable to our own family. We can also participate in family-friendly activities that promote good health in our district. Uh, PTA and ABC 25 Foundation sponsors Just Move It Challenge and families come out for a run and walk and if you don't want to run or walk you can always volunteer. Parents can provide an applicable reference that our children can relate to and help reinforce the importance of maintaining health practices not just at school but at home too. I'm Mr. Brown from the Facilities Department which takes care of the schools that we learn and play in every day. The facilities department is in charge of the air that comes into the building so that we have quality oxygen to breathe so that we can learn and play. As we know, when we have oxygen in our system, it gives us more energy. And that fresh oxygen comes from the unit ventilator 
in the classroom. The facilities department takes care of the unit ventilators by changing the filters so that the air is fresh as it comes into the classroom for all of us to enjoy. One of the other things that facilities is in charge of is the safety of your building. We all want to be safe in our school just like we are safe in our home. I hope you've enjoyed the video. It was created in order to heighten the awareness of the many faces and facets of school health. It is certainly a comprehensive effort and every single person in the school district has a responsibility. The physical, intellectual, and emotional well-being of our students is very, very important. And in the school, we have the opportunity to create that optimum learning environment by addressing all of these aspects. I hope you can join us in this effort and please contact the American Association of School Administrators and the CDC for more information. Thank you.